What's up guys, Pat Laws here with DJ Sackman. We're here for our first edition of Ask DJ. DJ, I appreciate you uh, stopping by. My man. My man, appreciate it. Awesome, we got some questions from the Hoop Crew fan base, the DJ Sackman fan base. Yep. Um, you know, about training questions, a little about you. Yep. Uh, so let's, let's rattle them off, is that cool? Cool, let's get it. Let's do it. So shooting is very complex. Um, at a younger, very young players, and, and I'm one of the, I, I haven't heard too many people um, philosophies this way, but I like younger players to actually turn and bring their and bring the shooting elbow behind and, and shoot the ball and use more core mm. because they're not strong enough. So, like if you watch videos of Steph when he used to shoot in arenas from deep, like with his dad yeah. when he was a little kid, he would launch the ball, you know. And that, that really teaches correct timing. So like in a game, if the rim's here and I'm not square, like now I have that ability to like square, square and release right. in, in, from different angles. Um, and the best shooters that I've seen when they were little, they, a lot of them shot like that. They right. turned and they launched because if I'm here and I square too early, I don't have enough power. So the only way from this, this is my, my shooting arm, the only power that I can generate from is my legs essentially, but my legs can't really push the basketball. Mm. So legs are over taught as well. So now legs aren't working. This isn't working. So I overcompensate with my left hand. So now I'm here and now I'm shooting the ball with two hands. But if I let the kid turn here and launch, now it's just a shooting arm. Right. So my release is here and I'm learning how to control my, yeah, my shooting arm. And coaches are going to argue and say, hey, that doesn't work. That's not efficient. He, he's, gonna, he, he's not square. But if I'm, when I get stronger, my body's going to, I'm going to turn because I don't need the trunk twist anymore. Even if I tried to, I'd launch the one. I'm like, that's too much power. How do I compensate? Right. But I don't have to compensate in this. I can compensate the rest of my body because this is way harder to control and to, to overcome because I developed this bad habit already. Yeah. So when you kids start shooting the ball with two hands, at a real young age, it's hard, it's hard to control. They're gonna be strong enough, but that left hand is so used to shooting the ball. Yep. Um, so I'm a, I'm a firm believer in that with the young kids, like letting them turn and just launch because as long as they have that, you know, everything else is gonna start taking care of itself and they don't know anything different. Yeah. They're here, 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 you know? So I've had discussions with that with a lot of people. Um, I just would, would suggest watching some of the great shooters shoot the ball when they were younger. Mm -hmm. Um, and a lot of them were turning and, and just launching the ball. Um, and then you watch guys like Trey Young and some of these guys, like they turns at times when they shoot the wall, like a lot, depending on how deep they are or their, or their angle to the rim. So like I said, shooting is complex. I know I just ranted a little bit, it's okay. but I'm just, uh, I'm very passionate about that. I think, I think uh, there's, too many, there's too many right ways of shooting and there's, too little research for these little kids and you're telling them all to like sit here like this like robots and expect them to have power right like they can't reach no doubt you know so they're gonna shoot the ball with two hands um and like i said mentioned before your legs don't generate much power when you shoot it's hips and upper body it's the feet and upper body together so when you disconnect the two and you ask for more power from one now your timing's a little bit off because you're trying to generate and now your flow is off and everything's short or just feels unnatural. So shooting's complex. There's, some old, there's a bunch of old ways to teach shooting that I've heard from NBA coaches as well. And if you watch film and study it, it's like, this doesn't, it's not even making any sense. Yeah. 